There are an increasing number of high-end luxury skincare brands out there that come with very heavy price tags. And that is especially true of this range of German-made products from Autour, which has got its sights set on being the super skincare brand. Their name is inspired by the French term for a film director who has a vision for a movie. And they say they have a vision for skincare. This definitive density cream alone is currently $325 or around £263 for just 30 milliliters. So when Autour asked if I wanted to try out the cream alongside their Hyaluron Serum and Enzyme Cleansing Powder, I was extremely interested to see if it delivered something different in this crowded market that goes some way to explaining the prices. I used the three products daily for six weeks and now I'm sharing my opinion and experience with you and also what this new range tells us about the evolution and direction of skincare. So I did speak to a representative of Autour to try to understand their formulas and ingredients better before filming this video. And what I took from that conversation is that they want to produce a range that supports the skin to do what it is naturally capable of doing. And that is producing its own moisture and to support skin cell turnover and collagen production and to improve the overall health of your skin by stimulating it to do most of the work itself. Now that ties in with recent conversations I've had with other skin regeneration specialists. Firstly, there was my interview with Dr. Tian Xu, who argued that we are overusing heavy moisturizers and preventing the skin from hydrating itself as it's naturally primed to do. It also ties in with the view of Ivan Galenin, the founder of Adipo Skincare, which has produced a cream which they claim stimulates natural facial fat restoration and therefore increases volume in your skin. Both these specialists believe, as Autour do, that skincare should support your skin to function optimally, not to try to do the job for it. And that is the future of skincare. First point to note with these Autour products is that for many of us, they're going to be out of our price range, but we should be looking for skincare that supports the natural health of our skin. And so it is really interesting to look at what they're doing and the ingredients they're using and why. One of the innovations Autour is using is her fluorocarbons. That's a medically used oxygen carrier that supports higher levels of oxygen in the skin and improves cellular function. Their products also include a range of peptides that signal to your skin to produce more of its own collagen. And they use a lot of alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs and retinols to get skin cells to turn over much more quickly. So the pricing, they say, comes down to the quality and cost of the ingredients. Their formulas are focused on ingredients of smaller molecular weight, which are designed to reach the dermal layer of your skin. But when it comes to price, they argue that ingredients of lower molecular weights are more expensive, but can be better absorbed into the skin. So their creams use a delivery system called Golden Collagenate, and it contains gold and platinum particles that they say supports the new formation of collagen. And they say the stability of their ingredients is key to their effectiveness. So that's what auteurs say you're paying for. Now I'll run through how I found using each product one by one, but it's worth firstly pointing out the packaging. Now, as you would expect, the products come with a luxury presentation in these brightly colored orange cardboard boxes. And then you have these very lovely looking glass bottles for the actual skincare itself. Now the glass bottles are recyclable and so they were designed to be environmentally friendly and they're also planning to launch refills. So you can unscrew the bottles and you'll see a much smaller little tube of contents inside that's replaceable. But I asked if the refills would be much cheaper and was told they won't significantly change the price, unfortunately. Or to argue the cost is mainly in the ingredients. So with the products, Autura say it would take 28 days to see a more significant change in your skin. And that does tie in with my experience. I started with the definitive enzyme cleanser costing $170 for 50 grams or 136 pounds. I used about a 10 pence or a quarter size amount on my hand. And you just add a little water to create a paste and then you circle it 
over your skin. And it reminds me very much of Dermalogica's exfoliant powder, except this is gentler, a little more refined, but it feels similar. It's very gently and pleasantly fragranced as well. Now that said, there was a transition period for me with these three products, especially because I use tretinoin and my skin is therefore more susceptible to dryness. And because these products use alpha hydroxy acids and retinols, it all felt in combination quite harsh and I had an outbreak of very dry skin around my chin in the first couple of weeks which you can see here in this picture. So to counter that I just added a bit of a Vino moisturizer for a few days until it sort of settled down and that was when I started to see improvements once my skin had adjusted to the ingredients in combination with my tretinoin. So the cleanser is an alpha hydroxy acid complex to exfoliate and tighten pores and reduce fine lines. It also has a vitamin C compound to help lighten and prevent age spots and hyperpigmentation. Now I haven't noticed a difference in my age spots uh, using it these past six weeks. In fact, I'm yet to find anything skincare wise that gets rid of these things. So let me know if you found something that works for you. But I do think I saw a difference in the smoothness of my skin with this product that I liked very much. Now, the Hyaluron Activator Serum, which is $330 for 50 milliliters or £267. It's fragrance-free, very lightweight and non-sticky and absorbs very quickly into your skin and it does leave it with a silky feel. So there is a definite superior finish there. It contains growth factors, which I'll tour say improves skin density, firmness and elasticity while restoring hydration and suppleness. Growth factors are proteins that float between our cells and communicate with them. So they are crucial for skin health and renewal and are becoming increasingly popular in skincare. And I will link to a magazine article all about growth factors in skincare in the video description below, which I found very helpful if you want to find out more because they are a biological ingredient. And I will feature more about growth factors and stem cell use in skincare in an upcoming interview with an expert on this channel very soon. So the last product I used as part of my Autour trial was the Definitive Density Cream retailing at $325 for 30 milliliters or $525 for a 50 milliliter bottle like this one. Ouch. So what does it claim to do? tighten and smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by restoring oxygen levels within skin cells that deplete with age and lift skin from within by stimulating new collagen formation. Now to restore oxygen levels, the Autour representative I spoke to said the cream is formulated with around a 5% concentration of a medically used oxygen carrier called perfluorocarbon, which I mentioned earlier. She says it's a very expensive ingredient. Added to that, you've then got several peptides, including Skyac peptide, which she says is built similarly to Botox and therefore reduces the appearance of lines by blocking the signal that creates muscular contractions on the skin's surface. In other words, they claim it's like topical Botox that acts over time. So I piled it on this morning and it's not like my forehead is frozen or anything. So any effect like that is certainly at a more subtle level. The Autour representative I spoke to said, if you're only going to pick up one product from the collection, then this would be the one. And that layering amplifies its effect. So what did I think overall? Well, I think when you're only trying out a bottle of something for a limited period of time, you're not going to get the full results, which is why I can only really go on how my skin looked and felt to me after six weeks. And I felt my skin had to go through a process, including the dryness, before I started to see the results. And the results I saw were not a dramatic reduction in my heavier lines or a plumping in my more challenged areas for volume like here but I guess it was only six weeks that I used it in isolation for and what I did see happen was my skin seemed plumper and brighter on the surface there was a sort of subtle airbrushing effect I think the enzyme cleanser really does reduce pores and blackheads Perhaps it was the combination of the products, that's hard to tell, but the benefits 
were visible after a few weeks and therefore I would agree that my skin was healthier. It was certainly more balanced so it wasn't so oily over the T-zone um, as the day wears on. Usually that's something that would happen to me is as, as the day progresses my skin would start to look oilier and I, I felt it was really beneficial. So would I keep using the Altura products if I could? I think very likely I would, um, especially as I'm really interested to see if I would get a cumulative effect. I did enjoy having that balanced, healthier looking skin. I am continuing to use the trial products I was sent un until they run out, but I've also added in the Adipo active cream designed to restore facial fat volume that I did the interview on recently. It's a lot heavier so it has disrupted the delicate balance I'd achieved with these products where I'm using it and I'm using it only on the areas of volume loss but I'm going to be fascinated to see the results in a couple of months time. So if you want to keep up with the latest from me on that along with other product reviews and expert interviews then hit the subscribe button. I always love to hear what you think of my reviews and the products and ingredients that I'm discussing. So let me know in the comments section. For now, thanks for watching.